four months now, Canada's Association of Police Chiefs, that includes Chief Blair, have been calling for changes to Canada's marijuana laws. Today, there was a stunning reversal from the Harper government. It's now considering a much more lenient approach, as Jacques Bourbeau reports. When they catch someone smoking a joint, police officers have two choices. Charge the pot smoker with a criminal offense or let them off with a warning. Now, Canada's justice minister says he's looking at a third option. We would look at uh, options that would give police the ability, much like the treatment of open liquor, uh, that would allow the police to ticket those type of offences. McKay stresses he's not talking about decriminalization or legalization. Instead, he wants to find another way to deal with people caught with small amounts of marijuana. As a former prosecutor, McKay says it often didn't make sense to use the hammer of a criminal charge. There were certainly charges laid uh, where small amounts of marijuana were involved, which I thought could have been expedited by way of a fine, a fine option. McKay is following the lead of Canada's police chiefs. When they met last August, they passed a resolution asking for the power to write tickets for marijuana possession, arguing it's often not in the public interest to lay a criminal charge. Some kind of a ticketing regime uh, would be appropriate, provided that the police, uh, you know, continued to hold the discretion to uh, take whatever enforcement action they thought was appropriate in all of the circumstances. The opposition is happy to see the Conservatives contemplating this small concession in the war on drugs. The reality is catching up with them because it's, it's not Joe Blow telling that to, P, to, to Peter McKay or the government. It's the, the Association of Chief of Police. McKay won't say when these changes might be made or what constitutes a small amount of marijuana. But if this happens, it will be welcomed by both police officers and marijuana smokers. Jopper Beau, Global News, Ottawa.